All right, my name is Richard Nowak. I am co-founder and current director of Avian Sanctuary and Protection. We are a bird-specific rescue and rehab center that mainly collects domestic birds. We also provide education programs and do community development programs, such as here in Sugar House Park, where over the past years, many birds have been sickened by bad water quality. We advocate to protect wildlife in our urban areas. Many of the birds that you've just seen were birds that people have acquired and then abandoned later on when they were unwanted. This type of activity is actually dangerous to the wildlife that resides in our urban areas. These birds can interbreed, they can compete for resources or even spread diseases. So in our program, we collect these birds, remove them from the environments where other wildlife are competing, take them to our sanctuary and then after they are deemed healthy, we find homes for them. And another hazard that we commonly find in parks is patrons will come to the park and feed birds bread or other types of food and leave the packaging behind. So we get many pieces of plastic like bread squares or bread ties. And these ties actually have a piece of metal inside of them and birds don't discern what is food and what's not. This may appear to look like a worm. And if a bird swallows that, the metal that's inside of this twist tie can actually puncture the intestinal, the intestines or the intestine cavity and cause infection or disease or even death. The birds actually <coughs> suffered frostbite. He just came in in Jan early January. He was abandoned at a, at a business park pond by the airport. You can participate in our volunteer programs that can come to the park and monitor and count birds. They can also participate in the science programs such as water testing. Several types of coliforms and E. coli can be found in many of our parks, which need to be monitored to try to improve water quality with the park services. Our facilities are just east of Redwood Road about on Parkway Avenue, only a few miles from the Salt Lake Community College campus. Students are welcome to volunteer there to help with feeding, husbandry, and maintenance of the birds that we have. Other students can volunteer with our education programs as we take a collection of these birds into classrooms and actually teach students <laughs> about the different types of birds in the world and the importance of protecting wildlife. Yeah, this one was rescued at Metro Business Park in West Valley. There were 33 birds and they were also suffering from disease in the water and also being run over by cars.